Hi guys, so today we are going to see how to level up your 3D vision. So I'm Shutai from the Design Sketchbook blog and we will see how to get from a simple box like you can see on the left to get something more complex on the right just using some very very simple rules of geometry. The wall, the wall key here is going to be the focus. So we are going to start with a basic setup of two-point perspective right here. So just drawing the horizon line with the vanishing points. So we get this uh, front line here that we connect to the vanishing points on the right and on the left as well. Then we, tr we trace the borders, the edges of the box. So the left edges connect to the right one, right dot, and the right edges connect to the left dot. Okay, so you can get all these details on the designer starter kit, so feel free to download it. Uh, it's for free, so you can get started in good condition and train your perspective as well, and you will see all these steps in details. All right, and you will be also able to draw it in uh, all the angles. Okay, so we carry on here, we got our box. And what is cool here is that when you want to highlight this box, you need to bold it. So you bold with uh, the outside line first, so we can see the box much more clearer. So we got basically three, uh, three thickness of uh, line weight. So the outside will be more bold. Then the visible edges will be in a medium. And then whatever that will be like the hidden lines, but also the construction line is going to be a light with a light pen pressure, a light line weight. Okay, so basically there's three here. Okay, so let's carry on here. So this is going to be very essential because that's what is going to help us to get to keep focus on what you are drawing because now it's pretty okay, but it will soon become pretty overwhelming if you don't respect all this line weight. So remember that sketching actually is not that difficult. It's all about simple geometry. And what we want to do here is to uh, find the main contour lines. The main contour lines are what we call also the center lines which is basically uh, by dividing the box in equal parts. So how to find this center line here? So with experience, we'll be able to spot them just by uh, self-estimations. But when you're beginners, it's better to go back to the basics. So we get in a 2D shape first. We draw a box in 2D, how to find the center, the diagonals, right? So I believe that you could learn this thing at school. And this is what we are going to apply here. So you got the center and you trace vertical and the horizontal to divide the box. Okay, we got it here. It's very simple. Spot these four dots here, top, left, right, bottom. This is what we are going to get in that 3D surface here, 3D box here. So let's start with the surface on the back. So we got six surface here and we are going to find the center lines for each surface. So we got the back one here so we connect right here we got the diagonals and we connect all these dots and this is how you got this cross and you can connect all the edges all around have actually the center all right so we have our back surface centers the horizon line actually in perspective uh, the horizontal line actually in perspective go back to the vanishing points now we repeat the operation on the right surface here on the back here we go and we got the centers right here. So this is one option. So we could have repeat. We could have repeat like here these operations. But this is there is also another way is that we can take advantage of this extra dot here to use directly uh, to carry on. Okay. So we take this dot and we trace. Okay. And now you can see like the back dot has been projected to the front. Okay. And then this dot here, we are going to use it again to go and find the next uh, center of the edges. All right, and so on. So we can turn all around. Here we go. So we can do it the same logic for the top surface. Here we go. And we go around again. You can see here we got this cross on the front surface as well as we had it on the back. So slowly, slowly, we got all this information, all this precious information. So we have to go through all these basics step by step. 
uh, right now like this, but this is come something that with practice, which is going to become very intuitive. And this is what you will visualize all the time when you will join. <laughs> Alrighty, and we complete all the surface here. So as you can notice here, actually, when you use all these center lines, we can actually cut uh, this volume by two. Right, right here, I'm going to do a hatching. It's like we are cutting it these pieces. That's it. So we got cut in half. <laughs> And we can also cut it in the other direction, right here. Can you see the power of uh, how you can make things much more visible when you boil your lines? So this is why the, the pen pressure is something, is skills that we really need to, um, to practice from start. Be gentle with your pen and bold along the way when you want to highlight the elements that you want to show. Alrighty, and if you have done your job well, the top surface middle and the below surface uh, at the bottom will connect with a vertical line. <laughs> Alright, so this is definitely starting to have a lot of lines here and the secret is totally focus and using the proper line weight. Alright, we carry on. As we have much more lines here, feel free to bold even more to get more contrast. And this is how you will gain in clarity uh, in your sketch. And here is an extra trick is that if you want to highlight the surfaces and dissociate all this line, you can add some cross in perspective and make sure that the cross in front are bigger than the one uh, behind. So you have this sense, really this feeling of what is in front and what is on the back. So we have the center of each surface. So as you can see that like in product design, we really need to see in transparency. All these invisible lines are what is essential for you guys to carry on and to draw, to draw in three dimensions. So now it's time to play. And this technique is what I call the move the dot. So I take one dot, I move it, and then I connect the rest. So now I want to take this center in the front and having the equivalent on the back. So I just go up and then connect using the, uh, con the, the vanishing point behind. All right, and then I just need to reconstitute all this so we got somehow like a house <laughs> and take notice that the back surface here looks more flat than the front i mean the the, the angle is different and this is a sensation that you need to keep in mind all right so i won't go through too much on that detail here but just keep in mind for the um a, a, as a reflex for for something that we would do later do, 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 do. And what is cool is that all this thing is that you, you can just use the perspective rules to get, all, to get all this surface. You don't have to think too much. You don't have to uh, invent anything. It's just about log simple logic and connect the dots. So make sure that your straight lines are as good as possible um, at start. If you really want to, to explore this, this exercise, you can take a ruler, it's fine. But ultimately, the best is that you can do it freehand. So once again, you can get all the techniques and exercises on how to do straight line in the designer starter kit. All right, let's carry on here. So we want this dot below to go in the front. So we follow like the, um, the converging lines, like uh, like a rail, and then you just need to connect. All right, so this is how you, you start to navigate in three dimensions, You just using the perspective. It's, it's, pre it's pretty cool, and it's something that you, you can do for hours, and it's like, it's to me like a game, like he's really having fun with it. All right, then you connect. Mm -hmm. What I have just done is that I got subdivide all this little square by using the diagonals. And then I created this subdivision so I can carry on giving more details inside. All right, I got it here. <laughs> and what if now we play on the back? So we take the dots uh, behind and we put it back. And now you connect. That's it. So remember to draw in transparency as well. And it's somehow like a, a diamond shape in the back <laughs> and to make it more even contrasted i can even add some hatching behind 
and that's it. Here we go. <coughs> so if you wonder which software I'm using here is Sketchbook Pro. This is really convenient and one of the favorite um, software for product designer because it's really naturally do very nice line and is very very easy to use. Here we go. So I can add here some hatching to show that this is somehow like there's a hole inside this uh, this 3D form. Okay. Now I connect here. It's connecting here. Here we go. <laughs> so all the all the magic is what you want to bold is what you want to show and you can and you can take the, these lines as reference. Uh, to create your volume That's it. Here we go <laughs> So it looks pretty overwhelming from outside um, View but when you do it yourself and you follow all this logic step by step is really like the accumulation of all these details from starts you just start from a simple cube then you add something you add something you add something and you move the dot like this This is how you create this deformation all along all right, it's somehow like a sculpture. Hmm. So it's really fun and this is what is going to really help you to navigate in 3D. And ultimately you will be able to draw all these steps in all the angles you want. Like from the top, from top view, from above the horizon line, from below, on the right, on the left, and so on. All right, so practice this as much as you want, as much as you feel. This is really helpful to really help you guys to uh, improve your focus in 3D vision and that's it so see you guys for the next tutorial <laughs> oh and uh, remember that you can download the designer starter kit once again and this is what you you will get started to, to get all these steps before this tutorial and you will get much more comfortable and then you can carry on here all right so see you for the next video bye bye Et pourquoi